Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Joe here. Um, hi if you're new, welcome back if you're not. Um, and sorry I've been away, but well, I probably haven't. I've probably posted some by the time I post this one. I'm getting all like, <laughs> I'm getting all kerfuffled because you know <laughs> I'm filming all of these one after the other. Um, right, so another haul. Um, let's get into it. Uh, this amazing book. <laughs> joke uh alice's adventures in wonderland uh yeah you know you know the drill i want to make an alice in wonderland journal <laughs> one day um so i just grabbed this one quite like, i really like the paper I like the paper and the, the height you know of the book and stuff that's different to some of my other ones so i thought hey ho dollop grab it and i got an illustrated mother's notebook. Oh, I grabbed these. Um, I just I love the images on them. They're they're cool. Um, so yeah, that's why I've got these. Um, they would they make um cool pages in a journal as well. But yeah, I, I got them for fussy cutting to go in my own journals and and other and ju other journals I make. But yeah, they're kind of they're cool. So I got that one, and on a on a similar note, oops, excuse me, uh, a grandmother's notebook. Same thing, but different. Same but death. Um. So yeah, they're cool. Oops. I love that one. I love swings. <laughs> I have one of those. <laughs> old school knitting basket it's got my embroidery stuff in it um indian indian a little golden book it's cute quite possibly politically incorrect now i have no idea but i got it because the images are <laughs> funny and cute and it has horses and i love horses so that's a cute one. So yeah, grab that. I'm gonna grab this. I have well loads of these basically. Um I need to sell some. Which I will do probably on our good old trade me local auction site. Unless someone wants one, let me know. I think this is about I don't know, number 18, I think, or something. <laughs> I got accused of depleting, basically, the world's supply of Edith Holden because I had so many. I kind of just chuckled at that. It was kind of funny. Noon's Better Homemaking. I love old books like this. <laughs> Images are <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, I bet there's some real winning dishes in here. By winning, I mean not winning at all. I don't actually know what the date. I'm not sure it had a date. Oops. No, just printed and bound in England by Hazel Watson and Viney Limited. Oh, dry flower bonus. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> I did not know that was there. That's awesome. <laughs> daisy table mats. And it's a daisy. Go figure. <laughs> Little iron. I don't know what era this is. It'd be, I don't know. Oh, more. Oh, those are so cool. Oh, I love book surprises. <laughs> it's so cool finding stuff like that. Any more? Oh, some fish. Oh, yep. Yeah, big fern. Oh, check out those gingham mats. Gay gingham mats. Oh, really? Alrighty. They're hilarious. Oh, dear. Oh, I love these. It's monochromatic, you know, with one colour images in, on them. <laughs> oh, that's going to be funny. I need to sit down and have a little read of that. That's quite hilarious. They're really funny, well, funny to us to read, you know. 
um, compared to nowadays. Beekeeping. I've got a beehive. I have, I have yet to get bees. My husband bought me a beehive for Christmas a few years ago and I, I haven't yet set it up and got the bees because I really want to get um, more of my garden, a bigger flower garden so they've got plenty to eat and such around them, you know. The complete book of fruit. Why did I get this? Probably to read, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool book. Like, its images are cool. But, uh, yeah, I got this purely to read. And, but those are, I love the black and white. Um, draw, you know, drawings, they're really awesome. Wow, what's in my bowl, though? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's why I've got that. Not pretty thrilling for you guys, sorry. Um, Lambert's Birds of Garden and Woodland. I just got a thing about bird books. Well, and kids illustrator books, but these are amazing. How beautiful what are those? Tree Sparrow. I think we can all agree that's a pretty awesome book. Little blue tits, how cute. Song thrush. So, yep, that's why I got that. What else have we got over here? Oh, slide some of this over. Um, I saw this, it was $3, which is quite expensive, but I loved the paper. I hate the way videos don't show it. It's really cream, just really nice quality cream lined paper. It's basically kind of a journal, but I'm just, I got it for the paper. So yeah, the camera doesn't really show it. Um, same deal with this. It's a dot grid composition notebook. Mm, wait, there you go. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, same deal for the paper. Which I'll tea stain or whatever um again another one um for the paper so it's uh the date thing up there which what that is some sort of stickers or something it's in a foreign language <laughs> but yes yeah, a nice journal nice cream cream lined paper good size for a journal they can go straight in like that out of that and straight into an another one obviously i found this little leather leather covered Longfellow, an inscription, Chrissy Hughes, Christchurch. Just <laughs> the miniature series, the Longfellow Treasury. So cute, and I, lo I loved the font up here on these and the titles. <laughs> Embossing on there, engraving. And we're on the same sort of note here. Yeah, see where the sticker was? Don't you hate that? Uh, this is Gems from George Eliot. Uh, yeah, no inscription in this one. It's just cool. I just love little, very old S. Bush and Son Booksellers and Co. Bromley. That's in England, yeah. I believe. So yeah, it's cool. It's worn, but it's leather. Um, this wee book, The Castaways of Meadowbank, Thomas Cobb. I love the cover. It's a cute image. So yeah, it's just to make a, I'll make a journal out of it. It's nothing to write home about inside. Got a date. No, not on there anyway. Or there. Hmm, that's weird. Um, so yeah, it's nothing flash inside. Yeah, I love the cover. It's a little grimy, but hey, the junk journal's right. Here joins the home guard, Alison Utley. So, it's just cute. And apparently he has a recipe for Fijo chutney in it. Cool. 
I'm not making it. I love Fee Joe's. Uh, I found this. Just a Christmas tree die with a couple or three snowflakes. Well, a few snowflakes. A star. It's probably a star as well. But... And then snowflakes. Hmm. It's for making, oh, for making a floating card thing. But I just wanted the die. I'm happy to pay a dollar for it. This cool steel ruler. It's, it's a 16 inch rather than a 12. So that's cool. So I'm quite often trying to tear bigger bits of paper or whatever. And my ruler's too short. So I grabbed that. That and I love measuring devices. <laughs> Commons mustard tin. Not old, but cool and hinged. So hey ho. <laughs> I've got like the tall ones. I put a lot of my um recon silk flowers and stuff in those. Super handy. Because they're a bit deep, so that's good. A uh, little Collins gem wildflowers. So yeah, these are cute. They make great little pages or if you're mental like me, you can fussy cut some of them. Um, but yeah, cool little pages to go in a journal, you know, both sides put the illustrations on, which is great when you're using them as pages, not so great when you want to cut things out. So, yep. Uh, this cute little old school embroidered purse. I like keeping, you know, stickers or things in there. Who do I see does that? Oh, I think it's oh Martina from Teal and Tattered. <laughs> so yeah, I'm copying her. Uh, the Language of Flowers. Already have one of these. So yeah, they're, it's just cool. Neat sort of. It's just a reproduction of a very old book, but they're cool. They make cool pages, and the the writing is all hand. You know, the handwritten look of the writing is awesome. So yeah. Got that. Got this. I guess it's like a little dresser cloth. Um, so it's got these embroideries on the ends and in the middle. And then, but I love the, I actually really love the tatting all the way around it. It's super cool. So I grabbed that. Um, this little bundle, I think these all came together. That one. This one, it's quite fine. Sort of tatting on the outside. That one, not super fussed on. Um, and then some Battenberg. Um, this one, it's a little sort of embroidered, what would you call those? Pansies, I would say, around the outside. Kind of cute. One the blue tatting around the edge and then that embroidery. And done. Um, and then this blue tatting. It's quite cool to get some different colours. It's already a bit tatty <laughs> uh, on one side, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Cut that up and use bits of that. It's a nice blue. Um, and lastly, well. That one I actually found separately, but yeah, it's like this mini, oh man, do you think I'll, I'm not even going to try and find the end of that one, but like real, like tiny tinsel, basically. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> Aha, there you go. See, oops. So it's cool on, you know, top little tags and stuff. So I've got, yeah, so now I've got kind of all the Christmas colours, rose gold's cool. Um, but yeah, silver, gold, and red, definitely Christmassy. What else was in here? Some silver stars. Three random, like, washi tapes. They, they might go back. I might keep the gold. I do quite like that one. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I think. I was like, is this embossing powder or glitter? I, I don't know. I think it's glitter. Then again, maybe, I don't know, I'll keep you posted on that, I'm going to, it's really weird if it is just glitter, it might be embossing stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to try that, I'll update you if it's embossing powder, so yeah, that, that's kind of it for this one, 
I will now gather <laughs> some more stuff together and do another one. So keep at it. And um, it seems that it's been like, well, it was until I started making these three weeks since I posted a video, which is a bit slack. But that's okay. Um, right, so I'll gather some more stuff and do another one. <laughs> Catch us later. Bye.